That was my fucking soul, you fucking suckers. Like, that was everything I fucking, that was like, you don't even know. Like, everything. All of it. It's right there. It's just fucking sitting on the pavement. <laughs> Welcome back to The Letters. <laughs> I'm your host, Jeff Grasso, and this is fucking skate videos. Here's my fucking disclaimer. I fucking hate skate videos, okay? I fucking hate them. Skate videos came in and everybody started skating for video. Fuck skate videos. Easy. That's what I gotta say about it. I like fucking real time skateboarding. Fuck skate videos. But when I saw Pat Duffy fucking skating in the rain to fucking Riders on the Storm or whatever, Jim Morrison, I thought, well, that's some pretty heavy shit. The skateboarding is so weird and insane that if you don't actually have proof of it, it's like it never happened. You know what I mean? To a normal person who's never seen a skateboard, they're not gonna believe that you can ride this piece of wood and ollie over this thing. Like, how are you gonna fly over that? They couldn't even imagine jumping over it without a board. How are you gonna get that board that's not attached to your feet? It's like, it seems like pure magic. You can't, you can't ollie over a hydrant. It's like a couple of feet tall. I mean, for me, the most influential videos, I think, would probably be some of the videos that I grew up on as a kid, obviously. And I would say that's probably Sick Boys, for sure. It's probably number one. Whatever, you're gonna go, you're gonna go back into like skateboard madness. Skater dater yeah, yeah, and yeah. fucking -dater. and like early Skateboard offerings man. of trying to promote skateboarding through film. The craziest kids on wheels. Skateboard, the movie that defies gravity. At some point, they're gonna we're gonna end up talking about thrashing, and that sucks. Thrashing was the first. I mean, it's a movie, but that's what got me skating. I was like, fuck. Red curbs? There was not one red curb in my town. I was so pissed. You know, the first video I ever saw was Animal Chin. I just started skating. You know, I went to a friend's house and they're all watching it, so. Good evening. Tonight's top story, legendary skater Wonton Animal Chin has been reported missing by friends and relatives. I didn't, know, I didn't even know that skate videos existed. What's your favorite skate video? Yeah, I, I'm trying to think. Uh, I, I don't know. I used to like the gator one where she goes, Mark, did you clean your room and make your bed? Or something like that. <laughs> you remember? Mark! What? Where are you going? Skating. Did you clean your room and make your bed? Sure, yeah, sure. And he goes out and skates. And he meets up with Jeff Phillips. He walks up to a pipeline. You see him in the video. He's like, He's like so happy, he's like, oh, there's Phillips, and then he jumps on his board. Yeah. That was sick. I think that's gotta be my favorite video. Skate vision time, I think it's so funny. <laughs> fucking first thing ever, first dude I was ever psyched on was fucking Bill Danforth, Savannah Slammer. 10 seconds, Bill! That shit was, that was the first thing I thought. I was like, oh, I'm on a skateboard, this is sick. Yeah, I guess when you say skate videos, I don't even consider the contest videos, like all the NSA pro videos and and all that stuff, the, the Don Hoffman videos. Somehow I ended up with this video called um, uh, Curb Dogs. You seen Curb Dogs? For me, Edge Street was really like the biggest influence at the time because it's when I started skating and I found out that Mike Tarnarski was making all these videos and he was my hero, you know. Everything was like so perfectly made like together, like the filming, the editing, the music, and it, it created like really strong experience and has had really a lot of impact on me. 
so Bones Brigade video show is just straight skateboarding. It was the most, it was the most inspiring. Like for me as a kid and a lot of my friends, it was like Lance skating down the street, the back of the pools, fucking off his roof. And you were just like, fuck, yeah. yes. Sure is the same for all kids, but you know, Lance, Lance was our favorite. Obviously he was like a really sick skater, but I think some of the stuff that he, where he was just cruising around. That was the shit that we loved the most. Yeah, no, that's just, the, that's like one of the things about skating, you know, it's, it's as much the act of skating as it is the discovery of, you know, what you're all about and checking out the world and, yeah, it's, it's just a lot of things. But this is equally as important as, you know, it's not, the, it's not just the thing that happens between the top of the stairs and the bottom of the stairs or, you know, one side of the ramp to the other. It's, it's like, it's all of this too. Do you have a, a, a favorite video part of yourself? Like a part that you put out that you're like, that represents me. The end, well, so the, the end, end for me you. was the culmination of my skating at the time. And I, I had never worked on something so hard. And the end was supposed to end with me doing 900. And uh, I couldn't, I just couldn't pull through on it. I tried so hard. <laughs> Your show is called Love Letters to Skateboarding. You mm -hmm. love skateboarding. I love skateboarding like an awful lot. Like I'm kind of crazy about it. And so when I'm skateboarding, like, you know, I don't really like to hear bickering because I want to go and do the skateboarding. I don't want to hear about like, you know, what's popular, or what's going to happen. You know, I want to be the person making the shit happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't want to be the person, you know, I want to be who they're talking about. I don't want to, like, hear the people talking. Yeah. Sam, I appreciate what you do, but if you don't mind, I need, like, two feet. Just two feet. That's all I need, because this is crucial. What you're doing is also important, but it's not crucial. All right, let's do this! It's always been about capturing it on film, and I think it started out innocent enough of just wanting to see yourself when you're a kid. I just fell in love with like the whole like image and how people shot things and my parents got a video camera of course because it would be like a family thing and I kind of like adopted it. Great buying power brings you this fully featured LXI 3 Lux camcorder that shoots. And then started using it um, just for skateboarding and just to shoot all my friends and myself. I never really knew a time even before sponsorship we were always filming just because it's just what we did as skateboarders. I don't, I don't know what it is about skateboarders and and videos and photography, why it, it's like kind of obsessive to document it, you know? I guess it's like, like the rest of the world doesn't really care about it, but between your bros, like, that's the coolest thing ever, you know? I would probably say the first, the one that sparked it all off was probably Video Days. Just because that video was so influential, I feel like. When that came out, it's just like, Every video after that was so similar. Video Days obviously comes up a lot as yeah. people's fa favorite videos and stuff. Um, and, and whatever, you're one of the fucking earliest guys to yeah. first video people. Uh, you yeah. know, we're all first generation video people. At the time, the guy Mike Ternansky was doing his videos. And he was popping them out quick. And all the guys doing the tricks right away. I, we had Jason Lee, me and him kind of both started blind. And, and we wanted you know, to like kick, like to blow that shit out. Like, you know what I mean? Just to put a final end to the, his crap. I mean, that's what I was thinking. So it was basically an answer to H Street and what H Street was doing. Kind of, time. yeah. We filmed Fallbrook in a day. One day. Like, that and was literally a session. Oh yeah, then I went to Fallbrook because I was a cool guy and I decided to ride without my shoes because I'm from the surf school, the old school. The day that they filmed me is um, they had you follow me. You do all the follow cam work. Oh my. Do you remember that? Fucking God. I drop in, wow. I do a lean to tail and like the camera's right on me. It's fucking him. And That's like a full turkey dinner. That's how heavy that is. <laughs> 
What do you think about skateboarding? Well, I think it's a little dangerous. I mean, skateboarders by nature, we're fucked, we're crazy. We're relentless. It's just, it's an obsession, so. And I think that translates over into like, yeah, fucking tricks. It takes a psychopath to get hit in the shin a thousand times over to do something. The America video part. Uh, the reason that it's all switch is because I had two knee surgeries during the filming of that that part. It was like eight months to a year of recovery. When I started to skate again, like and I couldn't like click ollies, and my knee would just would be in so much pain. I couldn't even get off the ground. It was like so painful, and I was just dying to skate. So I just skated switch all the time. Building on these fundamental principles, an infinite variety of maneuvers becomes possible. Actually doing skateboarding and it being so fucking difficult to do, it made sense why I went video because it's just like, um, you can try something for forever and then show it. I mean, dude, I have tried tricks. The longest trick I ever tried was over the course of two years. One thing is this as a whole is all of Danny Way stuff on that first mega ramp because that thing was fucking crazy. There had never been one. I remember seeing that ramp for the first time and just thinking like, what in the fuck? We were laughing. Like we were thinking like, dude, he's not even gonna be able to roll in on that thing. It was so gnarly. To be honest, recently, I've been watching fuck tards all the time. like the best job in the world making skate videos you know or being a skateboarder or we just do what we want we do, we do what we like and we get to tra travel the world and do all these different things and uh, and then skate videos they should be like it, sh it should be completely different it should be like every video is different if you make something good then it's good it doesn't matter what you made it on you know what I mean uh, there's no rules to follow or f standards or formats to to respect you know I think he has to be, he has to be free. Thank you so much for having me, for real. I always wanted to get on here and then... It, and then it took like two years. I know, I love this This has guy. been The Letters, thanks for watching. Sorry. Then I got a job for Transworld and I had like a VX1000. I'd never used one before. I didn't know what the fuck to do. I remember filming Diego Buccieri at those, um, the pier, the pier spot. And I remember the first, this is the first line I ever tried to film, trying to film a line of him. So we start going and keep in mind, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. And he goes and he tries the line and then he like didn't make it or he, he made the first trick and I was going too fast. I didn't know what to do. It sounds so stupid, but I didn't know how to like slow myself down. So I dragged my hand on the ground. <laughs> like, I don't know if anyone saw, <laughs> but like, I just didn't really like know how, what to do. But like, I was already, I already had a job making skate videos and that's how little I knew about, about video. And I knew nothing about editing either. What? How? What? Huh? You're confused. You're alone. It's Saturday night. You have no pants on. Click here to watch more love letters to skateboarding.